Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Extraction and Processing Division and the Materials Processing and Manufacturing Division Virtual 2021 Awards Ceremony and Special Lecture. I'm Christina Meskers, Chair of the Extraction and Processing Division. I, along with Mark Stout, Chair of the Materials Processing and Manufacturing Division, appreciate all of you being here today with us virtually. We will begin with the EPD and MPMD Award presentations and then hear from our esteemed speaker, Richard Russell. We will start with the presentation of the Extraction and Processing Division Awards. Our first award to present today is the Young Leader Professional Development Award. This award was created to enhance the professional development of dynamic young people from TMS's five technical divisions by helping them participate in society activities, make important contacts with TMS leaders, and network with prominent society members. Thanks to the TMS Foundation for supporting and funding this award. These two individuals have the opportunity to attend division council meetings, technical committee meetings, and the TMS board of directors meeting. This year's EPD's recipients are Alexandra Anderson and Joseph Hamayuni. Alexandra works at Gopher Resource in the US as a senior R&D engineer and Joseph is my metallurgist and Metso Autotech in Finland. Congratulations to these young professionals. Our next award is the EPD Technology Award. This award is presented to authors in recognition of the most notable research publication, which represents a contribution to the advancement of technology of extraction and processing. This year's recipients are Dai Wei Yu from Central South University, Feng Liu from the University of Toronto, Yajin Zhang from Capitec Venture Capital Company Limited, and Mansour Barati from the University of Toronto. Their award-winning paper is titled Thermal Upgrading of Nickel Ferrous Ferrothite Tailings for the Recovery of Nickel in the Form of Ferro-Nickel Alloy, published in Metallurgical and Materials Transactions B in the October 2019 issue. Congratulations to all of these authors. Our next award is the EPD Science Award. This award recognizes a paper or series of closely related papers with at least one common author, which represents the most notable contribution to the scientific understanding of extraction and processing of metals. This year's recipients are Stuart Nichol from Gover Resource and University of Queensland, Evgeny Jack and Peter Hayes from the University of Queensland. Their award-winning paper is Microstructure Evolution During Controlled Solidification of FA203 CAO SiO2 Liquids in Air, published in Metallurgical Materials Transactions B in December 2019. Congratulations to all these authors. There's something else special to today's EPD Science Award. This is Peter Hayes' fifth award and the fourth one together with Chief Danny Jack. Congratulations to Peter and Evgeny at University of Queensland for their contribution to our field. Our next award, the Journal of Sustainable Melody Best Paper Award, is a joint award of TMS's Light the Metals Division. This award recognizes a paper or series of closely related papers with one common author, published in the Journal of Sustainable Melody, that demonstrates novelty and research excellence within the field of sustainable melody. This year's recipients are Mika Dinsho with SSABAB, Lili Lai Chi Tho, Mari Mari, Janice Bonen, Isabel Nolet, and Daryl Metcalf with Hatch Limited, Johannes Nell with Tronox, Sina Mustahir with SMC Leverman, and Olle Sundqvist with AB Centric Materials Technology. Their winning paper is Stabilization of Stainless Steel Slag via Air Granulation, published in the February 2019 issue. Congratulations to all these authors. The recipients of this year's Extraction and Processing Division Pyromology Best Paper Award goes to Jiang Chen with Australian National University and Peter Hayes with the University of Queensland. This award recognizes the individual excellence of a paper published in the subject of pyromology. Their paper, entitled Mechanisms and Kinetics of Production of Solids Nickel oxide in CO, CO2, and CO argon gas mixtures was published in Metallurgical Materials Transaction B in December 2019. Just like in 2019 at our award session, 
Peter brings both the Science Award and the Pyromelody Best Paper Award to Australia. Congratulations to Chiang Chen and Peter Hayes. All the award-winning articles are freely available for TMS members. It's my pleasure to now introduce the recipients of the Division's Lifetime Achievement Awards. The recipient of this year's Extraction and Processing Division Distinguished Service Award is Andrea Siegmund with Landmetcon LLC. This award recognizes an individual whose continuous service to TMS Extraction and Processing Division activities has clearly facilitated the society's capability to serve its EPD-oriented members and their supporting organizations. The citation reads, in recognition of selfless service to the Extraction and Processing Division, the global non ferrous industry, and its 20 years leadership of the International Dead Sink Symposium. Congratulations, Andreas. Thank you for your tremendous service to EPD. You deserve to stand beside the illustrious list of past recipients. Rodney Jones with Mintech South Africa is the recipient of the Extraction and Processing Division Distinguished Lecturer Award. This award recognizes an eminent individual in the field of extraction and processing of non ferrous metals. The award includes an invitation to present a comprehensive lecture at the TMS annual meeting. Dr. John's lecture, Ferro-Nickel, Thermodynamics, Chemistry and Economics, was presented earlier this week at the Nickel Cobalt 2021 Symposium Plenary Session. I hope you are able to listen to his lecture on such a significant topic. The citation reads, for being a researcher in the field of pyromelody for nearly four decades and being regarded as one of the foremost speakers. Congratulations, Rodney. Maurits van Kamp with Imicor Belgium is the recipient of the AIME James Douglas Gold Medal. This award was established in 1922 and recognizes distinguished achievements in non-ferrous metallurgy in the spirit of James Douglas. James Douglas was an industrialist, mining engineer, metallurgical engineer, and an inventor of equipment. This is a joint award with SME's Mineral and Metallurgical Processing Division. His citation reads, a visionary, a visionary leader and entrepreneur who has dedicated his professional life to develop innovative technological solutions and promotes collaboration between industry, academia, and government organizations. Maurits gave a plenary lecture at the Lansing Conference last year. Dr. Van Kamp is chosen to receive this award at the SME annual meeting. Congratulations, Maurits. Before we conclude the EPD awards, I'd like to congratulate the Materials Characterization Best Paper and Best Poster Award recipients. These awards were given earlier during the TMS annual meeting at the Materials Characterization Committee meeting. This concludes the EPD Awards presentation. I am now pleased to introduce Mark Stout, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, who will present the MPMD Awards. Thank you, Christina. Hello, I'm Mark Stout, the current chair of the Materials Processing and Manufacturing Division, and it's my pleasure to present this year's MPMD Award recipient. The Materials Processing and Manufacturing Division of TMS is awarding a $2,500 scholarship to undergraduate students. Uh, this year's recipient is Alexander Goldman, studying at the University of Nevada, Reno. This, this recipient was chosen by a specially appointed selection committee of the Division Council. Funding for the scholarship is provided through the TMS Foundation. And thanks to the generous support of Battelle and Jeffrey Wadsworth, Battelle is matching the undergraduate student scholarship awarded by the five technical divisions dollar for dollar. Congratulations, Alexander Goldman. Like the EPD, the MPMD Young Leaders Professional Development Award was created to enhance the professional development of dynamic young people from TMS's five technical divisions by helping them participate in society activities make important contacts with TMS leaders, and network with prominent society members. Thanks again to the TMS Foundation for supporting and funding this award. The recipients have the opportunity to attend division council meetings, technical committee meetings, and a TMS board of directors meeting. This year's recipients of the award are Liang Kui of the University of Michigan and Yu Zhao of the University of Toronto. Congratulations to these young professionals.
James Foley of the Los Alamos National Laboratory is this year's recipient of the MPMD Distinguished Service Award. This award is presented to an individual whose dedication and commitment to TMS and MPMD has made a demonstrable difference to the objectives and capabilities of the division and the society of overall. His citation reads, for exemplary service to MPMD and TMS through leadership of the MPMD Council, TMS Program Committee, and our society. Congratulations, Jim. Eugene Olevsky with the San Diego State University is this year's recipient of the MPMD Distinguished Scientist or Engineer Award. This award is presented to an individual who has made long lasting contributions to design, synthesis, processing, and performance of engineering materials with significant industrial application. His citation reads, for outstanding contributions to materials engineering education and sintering research, including development of modern sintering theories and fundamental studies of field assisted power consolidation technologies. Congratulations, Pr Professor Olesky, and congratulations to all the MPMD award recipients. Before introducing today's speaker, I would like to recognize some very important groups of people. First, the 2021 EPD and award MPMD program organizers and session chairs. If you have taken on either of these volunteer roles during this meeting, we thank you. The second group of important people is the EPD and MPMD council members, along with the technical committee chairs and vice chairs. If you were on the 2020 council or will be part of the incoming 2021 council, thank you for your volunteer service to TMS. These are the people that perform the hard work to make both EPD and MPMD events and technical sessions possible. If you would like more information on how to self-nominate or nominate someone for a 2022 award, please visit the TMS website under the Professional Development Honors and Awards headings. Many awards have a deadline submission of April 1st, which is coming up soon. I invite you to log in to TMS 21 virtual conference tomorrow to attend the TMS AIME awards ceremony. This virtual ceremony will honor more of your colleagues and our new TMS president, Ellen Serretta, and she will give her presidential address. Ladies and gentlemen, this presentation closes the 2020 EPD MPD award ceremony portion of this event. Please continue to join us for our keynote address. I would like to remind you that since this event has been pre recorded, it will be available to view on the virtual conference site until May 31st and then will be added to the TMS YouTube channel after that. We hope to see you next year in person for TMS 2022 in Anaheim, California. Thank you very much. At this time, I would like to welcome Dr. Ed Glaskin, who will introduce our speaker. For those of you who don't already know Ed, he is the Senior Technologist for Computational Materials at the NASA Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia. He currently leads the Transformational Tools and Technology Project efforts on development of next generation capabilities for qualification and certification of both additively manufactured metallic materials and bonded polymeric composites. He has been an advisor for the AFOSR and DARPA programs. He has been a chairman of the NASA technology area for modeling, simulation, information technology and processing. He's been the lead of the NASA materials capability leadership team computational materials working group. He is a member of the NASA engineering and safety center structure technical discipline team and the NESC materials technical discipline team. And he is the co-founding chair of the National Computational Materials for Qualification and Certification Steering Group, which is focused on maturing capabilities to support metallic additive manufacturing. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Ed Glaskin. I encourage you to utilize the chat feature of the virtual platform to direct questions to Mr. Russell after his talk. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this year's awards ceremony. I am Ed Glaskin, NASA's Senior Technologist for Computational Materials and a member of NASA's Materials D Technical Discipline Team. I have the pleasure of introducing today's speaker. Mr. Richard Russell currently holds the position of the NASA Technical Fellow for Materials, a position that he has held since 2016. Rick has a bachelor's degree in metallurgical engineering from the University of Illinois and a master's degree in material science and engineering from the University of Florida. Mr. Russell began his career in 1986 at the Naval Aviation Depot in Pensacola, Florida. In 1989, he joined Kennedy Space Center, supporting the Shuttle Engineering Project Office and serving as a Materials and Processes, or MMP, engineering expert. In 1996, Rick left NASA and worked in aircraft manufacturing and design 
at the Aerostructures Corporation in Nashville, Tennessee, and at Bell Helicopter in Fort Worth, Texas. In 2001, Mr. Russell rejoined the shuttle program, this time working for the United Space Alliance at Kennedy Space Center. In 2004, Rick rejoined NASA, serving as the aging aircraft principal engineer for the Space Shuttle Orbiter Project Support Office. And in 2009, Rick became a member of the Materials Science Division at Kennedy Space Center, supporting the Orion multipurpose crew vehicle and assisting in development of requirements for the commercial crew program. In 2012, Rick was named the chief of the Materials and Processes Engineering Branch, and then in 2014, he joined commercial crew program again as the spacecraft and launch vehicle systems manager for specialty engineering, specifically materials and processes and fracture control. As you can tell, Rick has an incredible wealth of experience related to NASA's flight hardware. Additionally, and as I can attest, Rick has fully embraced emerging and potentially disruptive capabilities, including computational materials. This experience and perspective make Rick uniquely qualified for his current role. Currently, Rick is one of 19 NASA Technical Fellows leading technical discipline teams in their respective fields that span software to guidance, navigation, and control, to aerosciences, and yes, to materials. NASA Technical Fellows are an agency resource that lead case-specific assignment or assessments and investigations engaging their technical discipline teams. I'm a part of RICS comprised of subject matter experts from government, industry, and academia, while also being stewards of the disciplines within their agency. For example, Rick is currently leading an assessment of materials capabilities at NASA. One of Rick's primary efforts during the past few years has been aimed at ensuring that NASA is prepared to address the bow wave of additively manufactured flight hardware that is being developed and used in increasingly critical applications. In today's presentation titled, Qualification and Certification Strategies for Additive Manufactured Parts for Manned Spaceflight, Rick will discuss NASA's motivation for AM standards development, and then he will outline the principles of the qualification and certification strategies that are heavily rooted in foundational controls of the AM process, including process qualification, statistical process control, the development of materials property and design values, and the development of a qualified part process. I even hear that Rick will give you a short glimpse into the future of qual insert at NASA, including development of computational materials based durability and damage tolerance and in situ NDE. I think that you will find this presentation to be both interesting and informative. So ladies and gentlemen, here is Rick Russell, NASA's technical fellow for materials.